Hey guys, it's John here. Welcome back to the channel where we explore the microcosmos of sea monkeys and other instant pets. In today's video, I'm going to be starting the sea monkey tank and showing you their progress over the first 30 days so you can see how quickly their development happens under ideal conditions. Sea monkeys are a species of Artemia or brine shrimp, which are very small animals. The largest adults are only about 1.5 centimeters or half an inch in length. So I'll be using some macro lenses and a microscope so you guys can get a better idea of how they look up close as they grow. Today's day zero, which just means I'll be starting off by adding distilled water into the tank and also packets one and two. Packet number one is the water purifier and packet number two is the instant live eggs. Though I think both of them actually have salt with some sea monkey eggs mixed in. I'm also using an aqua leash pipette to make sure all of the salts are well dissolved. This blue sea monkey ocean volcano tank that I'm using is definitely one of my favorites. It has a slightly larger capacity than most other sea monkey branded tanks at about 400 mils. Its shape is a little flattened out too, which makes viewing your sea monkeys even easier. The volcano that forms the substrate on the bottom is also a great surface for green algae to grow on, which the sea monkeys absolutely love to eat. I'm keeping them on a heat map by this windowsill over the course of the next month, which will give them plenty of light and keep their tank at a toasty 26 degrees Celsius, which is 79 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the ideal temperature for both hatching of the eggs and sea monkey growth. Here I'm just using a pipette to wash some of the sea monkey eggs back into the water that have got washed up and got stuck onto the walls of my tank. Let's take a look at the eggs under the microscope. They're difficult to see with the eye, but at 40 times magnification we can see them much more clearly. They're basically just small brown circles, but each of them contains a tiny sea monkey baby just waiting to emerge. We should see the first ones within 24 to 36 hours, so I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow to show you the hatchlings. It's been about 24 hours and I've just noticed the first babies beginning to emerge from their eggs. This is known as the umbrella stage, as they're surrounded by an egg membrane that takes a few hours for them to break through. If you look closely, you can see them starting to move a little bit too, which is super exciting. I'll check back in later tonight to see if any have started swimming yet. So it's now the end of day one, and I can see around 30 sea monkey babies swimming about the tank, which is a pretty decent hatch rate. They move in a jerky motion for these first few days, but they're still not very easy to see clearly. Even with my macro lens at 20 times zoom, we can't make out a whole lot of detail. So let's go over to the microscope to get a better look. How cute is this? The baby sea monkey is so tiny, but its body is still very complex. The red dot in the middle of its head is called the median eye, and it's the only one that the babies are born with. You'll also notice that their bodies are a yellow-orange color. This is because they're born with an egg yolk-like substance in their gut, which feeds them for the first few days of life, so it's not necessary for me to give them any food quite yet. Today's day three, and our baby sea monkeys are still doing great. They have grown a little bit too, but it's not easy to tell because they're still very small. Under the microscope, we can see that their bodies have begun to grow longer, and they're starting to form a little tail. It's really amazing how quickly these changes happen, and how different they look after just a few days. I'm going to feed them for the first time now from packet number three, the sea monkey growth food, but I'm only giving them a tiny amount, about one quarter of a small scoop from the sea monkey feeding spoon. It's not necessary to give them any more than this, because they're still really tiny. It's a good idea to evenly spread out the food on the water surface, so that all of it is accessible for the babies to eat. I'll put them back onto their windowsill and heat pad now, so they can finish off their lunch. I'm also going to be adding an airline into the tank, which I'll leave on 24-7. This makes sure they're getting plenty of oxygen, but also that the food particles in their tank are kept in suspension by the water circulation, which makes it nice and easy for them to eat. It's day 6 and our babies are growing well. You can even see that their little tails are getting longer. Let's take another look under the microscope, to see if there are any other changes we can observe. It looks like they're a fair bit larger than when we last looked at them. You can even see that they're beginning to form new legs on the sides of their body. These are called thoracopods, meaning legs that originate from the thorax. They'll eventually have 11 pairs of these, which they'll use for swimming. We'll see how they grow over the next few days. Today's day 9, and I've observed some more growth in the last few days, so I'm really happy with the tank's progress. We'll take a look under the microscope again in a moment, but first I need to do a little tank maintenance. I've noticed that the water level has dropped a bit. This is simply due to evaporation, so all I have to do is use some fresh distilled water and fill it back up to the fill line. It's a bit of a roller coaster for the sea monkeys, but it doesn't really seem to harm them. Under the microscope now, we can see that they're growing steadily, and those new legs are becoming well developed. They're already starting to use them for swimming too, so they can swim around the tank much more quickly now. We've finally reached the two week mark. It looks like there are still somewhere around 30 sea monkeys in the tank and the fact that they're all looking energetic is a good sign that they're nice and healthy. We can also begin to see some differences between the two genders now. The male's morphology is most obvious. His two frontal antennae have begun to enlarge into a pair of claspers, which he'll eventually use during the mating process. The female's antennae remain small, but her body lengthens out into a streamlined shape, making her a powerful swimmer. 
Today is day 19 and they're still growing steadily. In fact, they're starting to almost look like fully grown adults now. I just need to top the water back up to the fill line and feed them a little again and then we can take another look with the microscope. I don't always film these feedings, but I pretty much do them every second or third day and only ever a really small amount, never an entire scoop. Here's a closer look at the mature male. You can see those frontal antennae are really large now and I'm sure it won't be too long until he's ready to start mating. The females have grown even bigger than the males now, so when I slow down this footage, it's easy to see the intricate detail of their legs as they move them in a wave-like motion. It's been 25 days since the sea monkeys hatched, and I've noticed one of the largest females is starting to produce an egg sac. Lady sea monkeys are capable of something called parthenogenetic reproduction, where they can produce eggs without them being fertilized first by a male. Because I haven't seen this one mating, that's probably what's going on here. Under the microscope, we can see how the egg sac looks up close. It's quite amazing to see her shuffling those eggs around. I'm not really sure why she does it, but it is really cool to watch. Today is day 30, which means our sea monkeys are now a month old, and this experiment is coming to its conclusion. It's time to celebrate though, because I've just seen the first pair mating in the tank. Now that the males are fully mature, they can use those large clasping antennae to grab onto the female, so they can swim around together as a pair. Mating can usually last quite a while, anywhere from a few hours up to a few days, which is quite impressive. The female's egg sac will now grow larger, and she'll begin producing babies. In good environmental conditions, she can birth up to 100 every week for the rest of her life. Here's a quick bonus microscope video of a female giving birth to live babies. When the parameters in your tank are just right, she'll birth her babies alive, right into the water. And then this incredible cycle will begin all over again. Thanks for coming with me today on this journey into the microcosmos of sea monkeys. If you'd like to get a sea monkey kit of your own, so you can observe this amazing process for yourself, I've included an Amazon link down in the description. It has a list with a bunch of different tank options to choose from, as well as some great accessories that I mentioned in this video, such as some affordable USB powered air pumps and heaters. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel, so you don't miss future uploads. I make new videos every week about the world of instant pets, so let me know down in the comments what else you'd like to see on my channel. You're always welcome to ask me your sea monkey related questions down there too, and I'll catch you in the next one.